Assalamu alaikum grade 11. Last week we learned the law of reflection of light and the reflection on a plane mirror. Today we are going to learn about the curved mirrors. Mirrors with curved reflecting surfaces are called curved mirrors. These curved surfaces are parts of a sphere. This is a sphere. This is a part of this sphere. In this mirror, the reflecting surface is inward. So, this is a concave mirror. Here, the reflecting surface is convex. So, this is convex mirror. So, there are two types of curved mirrors. These curved mirrors are parts of so, they can be called spherical mirrors. Curved mirrors can be called spherical mirrors. Okay, now let us see the points of this concave mirror and the convex mirrors furthermore. This concave mirror is belongs to this sphere. This is the center of the sphere. This center of the sphere is called the center of curvature of the mirror. Here, the P. This is the center point of this mirror. This center point is called the pole. Pole of the mirror. Now we are going to join the pole and the center. Now we are going to join the P and C. The line joining the pole and the center of curvature is known as the principal axis. This principal axis is joining the center with the surface of the circle. So, it is the radius. We know the radius is always perpendicular to the So, the principal axis is perpendicular to P or the mirror. Next, between this pole and the center of curvature, between the pole and the center of curvature, on this principal axis, this is the focal point. The distance between the pole and the focal point is known as the focal length. The focal length is exactly half of the radius. So, the radius is twice as the focal length. Here in this concave mirror, the focal point is before the reflecting surface. We can say that the focal point is in front of the mirror. So, we can measure this focal point. Okay, now let us know about the focal point of a concave mirror. These are 
incident rays. These rays are parallel to this principal axis. What will happen to these parallel rays? They reflect according to the law of reflection. So, at this incident point, there is the normal. This is the normal. So, light reflects according to the law. So, this reflects through this focal point. Incident ray, normal reflecting ray. We can see this light rays reflecting according to the law of reflection. But according to the construction of these curved shapes, the parallel ray passing through the focal point. Then what happened to this ray? This also reflect according to the law. Now we can see the reflecting rays are converging onto a point. This converging point is the focal point of a concave mirror. So, if we keep a screen on this spot, these converging rays are really meeting at a point. We can obtain a real image. So, parallel rays. So, what is the focal point of a concave mirror? That is the convergent point of rays coming parallel to the principal axis. Okay, now let us learn how the reflections take place on this concave.